Hello there, I am John Quo with more Super Mario 64. This again is my Redux walkthrough guide. Redux basically means redo, uh, do over, try again, attempt again, stuff like that. So, like, I want to do all 120 stars again, and I'm going to challenge myself by getting all 120 stars again. And it'll be better quality overall, like, video and audio wise. So, you know. So, in the last part, we took, we did these three stars right here. We did big bombs on the summit. Well, first we did this one actually, behind Chomps, Chain Chomps Gate. Then we did Big Boos, or not Big Boos, Big Bob Arms on the summit, and then Foot Race with Koopa the Quick. Now we got to do Shoot to the Island in the Sky. So here's really why you really need the cannon locked. Because, like, you just go in there, and then you can blast yourself a very far distance depending on where you put yourself, like, aim. You can also aim. So if I go like right up there, there's the island right over to the left of your screen. Now it's not to the left of your screen. That's where we need to get to. And I'll show you guys how to get to it. And I'll show you a actually speedrun trick. But this isn't even a speedrun. I just want to show you it's a speedrun trick that speedrun issues. But look into that in a second. Um Oh yeah, there we go, we got on the first try. And here's what you do. Let me test let me do some practice. Okay, there we go. I think I already do. You wanna jump on the box or under the box like you're like there's a coin in it basically you got that and then you want to ground and then you want to hit your z button whatever your z button is and the ground pound but i obviously didn't do it right so let's just get the star if you do it right i kind of did it late because mario was dropping back down to the ground so i did the speed running trick wrong but usually it's a speed running trick and people use it so let's jump back in i think that was a mistake though because oh no we have to do okay because like, mario wings to the sky is the next star after this number five which i want to get the wing cap for that but here's fine they have coins and kind of want to do that when i'm doing 120 stars too so i'm trying to think here because i want to i don't want to collect the coins twice it's just not logical i think i'll come back for this one these last two stars because you know i'll just come back to them and what I actually want to do before Womp's Fortress is this star right here. Yeah, right here, this star. And here we go. Just jump into the one on the far left, or far right, my bad. There's a coin thing you can press right here. And did you do these? All I have to do is ground pound on them. And if I can get on it right correctly. There we go. I messed that up. Okay, there's actually two stars you can get with the slide. One. For being really, for do, for going really fast down it and getting under like 20 seconds, I think, or 21 seconds, something like that. And then there's one for just completing it, you know. And if you fall off, you'll just come back to the um, you'll come back to um, the middle of the ground floor of the castle. I didn't get that one. Okay, I can get this one. I can redeem myself with this trick though. See if I can do it. There we go. That's a speed run trick right there, boys and girls and men and women. And young adults, and I don't know where I was going with that. There we go. Nice. Save and continue. Now I want to try again and try to get under 21 seconds or 20 seconds. I can't remember if it's under 21 seconds or 20 seconds though for the extra secret star. So let me see if I can do that. I won't hit the coin block this time. Okay, let's do this. Just kind of hug the wall a little bit. That's always helped me. If I can do this right and pull it off, that'd be great. So that's a point where you can drop, but I don't know where the point is. So yeah. I got it. Look how close that was to 21 seconds. I barely got it. I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to like do an epic star grab right there. But yeah, here we go. There's our sixth power star of the game. Nice. There you go, ladies and germs. Seven so continue. Okay. Now, we can go up to, um, Womp's Fortress now. It's a new course. We haven't been there yet. At least in this Redux. I think Walk the Guide Reduxes should count for its own thing. I'm trying to think. I'm still trying to decide that, though. If I want to consider Walk the Guide if it was originally Walk the Guide. I'm not sure. Off tr what was this one again? I... Didn't read. Okay, again, these are just little helpful hints. I won't read them. As I said in the last part, I won't always read the instructions to the new courses and stuff. Okay, chip off Womp's block. Okay, so let's get started. What I like to do for this one, instead of dealing with all that stuff down there with the... Okay, instead of dealing with all that stuff to the far left, and I'm not getting a good angle at this. 
instead of dealing with all of that, all of this that's coming up, with all the pushing and the shoving and the, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go up here, and I'm gonna just go this way, because it saves time, but obviously it's not saving time, because I fail at just doing what I said I was gonna do. Okay, so, I'm gonna attack this piranha plant. And each of these product points will actually give you a blue coin, and a blue coin actually counts as five coins. So keep that in mind. Red coins count as two, and yellow coins just count as one. And this is the way you're supposed to go. So if you fall on the way I'm going, you'll get to where you need to be. Okay. They don't look very happy. The, the, the Womps box or whatever. Let me talk to you, let me talk to you. It makes me so mad when we build your houses, your castles, we pave your roads, and still you walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? No. Well, you're not going to wipe your feet on me. I'll take, I'll think I'll crush you just for fun. Do you want a, do you have a problem with that? So I lost my voice for that, this character? Just try to pound me, wimp. Ha ha. Or ha, just one ha. There's one, you have to do this three times. It's really easy. It's just like the big bubble bomb, basically. No, crushed again. It's just a, a steeping stone, after all. A I'm just a stepping stone, after all. I want to gravel... Uh, er, grovel. Here, you win. Take this with you. You're levitating for a second. Now in speedruns, uh, people found out where you can actually stand right there to like wait automatically to the start when it appears or when it lets you unfreeze the frame, or unfreeze the game for when you just disappeared and when this dialogue was there. Anyway, seven continue. So seven power stars, not bad, not bad. Tip to the top of the fortress. Okay, so this one's basically you take the same route but you do something different. And I'll show you guys when we get here, when we get there. So let's just go up there and have some fun and get our power star. Again, we want to attack this crowd plant just for fun and get his lunch money. There we go. Okay. Oh, I made it. Nice. Okay, so again, we just take the same route as I was saying before, and yeah. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, look, a bullet bill. Well, there you see one. There's the bullet bill. I think that's the only time they show up in this game. So basically, you have to do some more, you have to do a little bit of platforming here. And fail. <laughs> fail. I'm so bad at this. Okay. We got this, guys. Just have faith in me. Okay, I almost fell there. Okay, good. There we go. This one, this last one will rise up like an elevator and you can grab your power star. Make sure not to jump off the tower though, or fortress. Because it's considered a fortress, because it's said in the star mission. But yeah, just be careful and grab your power star. So there, we got eight power stars. Eight's my lucky number, actually. And we got save and continue. And then we got eight power stars. We can actually go to the first Bowser level now, but I'm doing the Hunter and Star Run, so I don't want I don't want I don't want to deal with Bowser right now. I have to, I have to focus on these power stars. Okay, shoot into the wild blue, is that what it said? Who's there? Who woke me up? It's still daylight, I should be sleeping. Hey, as long as I'm awake, why not take me a short fight? Why not take a short fight with me? Just press and hold the A button to grab on at least to let go. I'll take wherever you want to go as long as my wings hold out. Watch my shadow and grab on. Well, we're not dealing with that for, with that right now. We're dealing with shoot into wild blue. And you can usually just use the cannon, but yeah, 
We don't have to. Hi, I'll put the cannon for you. We don't have to this talk, because I'm going to show you a trick that I pulled off in my practice run, I guess you could say, when I was playing this when Super Nintendo Guys was over. And yeah, like, that includes Matt and Sam. Michael wasn't there for that one, because he wasn't feeling well, but you know. So, if you look up there, there, okay, I have to get a better angle than this. Up there, oh my gosh, I'm gonna make this so much harder for myself. I have to get this right. Up there is a power star. In the power star, we need to lose mission. And that was my dog just, you know, sh just shaking because, well, he likes to shake because, like, well, not like the bad shake, but like the shake when they like, but like they like to. I don't know how to explain it. Why did I go in the cannon? Why did I go in the cannon? There's the star, by the way, as you see right there. But he likes to shake because he's he's probably itchy and stuff. Not the bad shake, like he's um in pain. So just kill it out. So I'm gonna try a wall kick right here. That right, that ruined me. That camera movement. Oh man, that was close. There we go. I made it. There's your power star. That's the one way to get it. Just wall kick off the wall like I did, or use the cannon. But and make sure you hit the pole, or you're gonna go flying off the map or stage, of course. So yeah, there's nine power stars. I think I want to get one more power star. According to the 40 Isles. There's actually a couple stars I could get in this fight, which I, I think I'm going for two. And this is not the red coin challenge one, because again, I want to do that when, uh, I want to do the 100 coin challenge. Okay, you have the same dialogue. Yeah. Okay, so, I'm going to grab on the owl here. And you can actually use the cannon to do this too. I know Nintendo could preach that when he did his, when he did the last play of Super Mario 64, he did it with the cannon. But I do it with the owl, and I can just drop right in here and grab your star. This is the the cage star on the floating island star, I think. When we get to that star, when it's already there, I'll, okay, it's fall into the caged island. You can use the owl like I did, or you can do this cool trick with the cannon, but I don't know how to do the cannon method, but I still have to do the owl method. And I want to do one more power star. It's it's called Blast Away the Wall. It's pretty awesome and easy and fast. So you guys like it. Same dialogue, okay? Yeah, there we go. So you want the cannon lock for this one, and you actually have to have the cannon lock for this one, and it's required because you have to blast away the wall. Of course, you're gonna use a cannon. You're gonna use a cannon. You want to aim about right here. Boom! There you go. I took a lot of damage, but that's okay. I can heal up with these coins right here. There's more coins right here. So, you can bl you can blast your way into the star, but it might be dangerous, and I don't recommend it, unless you're really awesomely skilled, like some people I know. And, yeah. But you want to go over here, and you want to go up here. I have to take it slow. And what we do now is we slide into it. There we go. There's your power star. There's your power star. Blast away the wall. Well, let me see. If you press the start menu, I forgot to mention the last part, it'll show you like all the stars you haven't got. They, they won't have the names, but show you what stars have you have gotten and what stars you still need to get. Along with if you got the 100 coin star or not at the very bottom, you see right 14 coins. So I'm missing two stars plus the 100 coin star and bottom of battlefield. And I'm missing, uh, I think it's just one star. One star in the well, two stars total. One star as a star mission, and then one as the 100 coin challenge. And the Castle Secret Stars, too. I believe there's around 10 to 12 Castle Secret Stars. I know there's at least 10 in the game, so keep that in mind. Yeah, but this has been uh, this part of my Super Mario 64 Walkthrough Guide Redux. In the next part, we'll take on more of Womp's Fortress, if I can, and Bob on Battlefield, if I can, and possibly get something unlocked. How exciting. So this is Majago again. I'd like to watch again. Goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Super Mario 64 Walk the Guide Redux.